Liminal spaces. A phenomena that can only be described as strangely familiar, but uncomfortable. Places that make you feel somber, but also nostalgic for a different time. As a topic, the idea of liminal spaces has been covered extensively on this channel, and it's something that has become just a part of my everyday life. Whenever I'm in a new and unfamiliar place, I like to find liminal spaces and document them as I go. Just little things that look odd or out of place are just so interesting to me. I feel like one of the biggest inspirations for liminal spaces as an art movement is the world of cinema. The first ever liminal spaces were made for movies. The idea of how the furniture and characters are arranged in a scene, also known as mise-en-scene, is incredibly important to a scene's meaning and overall style. Certain cinematographers and directors are responsible for incredibly iconic scenes and sets that most of the time purposely give off that sort of nostalgia creepy feeling that I get when looking at liminal spaces. I've decided to compile some iconic films and scenes that give off that feeling. Before I start this video, I am super excited to announce that there's official Adrian Gasly stickers at adriangasly.etsy.com. I have put four designs together so far, with lots more on the way. We've got this classic Gasly logo, Smile Dog, this Vaporwave design, and a holographic Frutiger Arrow design. This is something I've been really excited to start doing for a long time, and I have loads more ideas in the works. So if this is your kind of thing, make sure to check it out. Okay, back to the video. Let's start off with one of the most classic liminal space films to ever exist, The Shining. You've got the shining! You mean shining. Shh! You wanna get sued? The Shining is a masterpiece for hundreds of reasons. The eerie sound design, the horrifying visuals, and of course, the empty spaces. This film is about a family of three taking care and living in the Overlook Hotel. These wide open spaces as well as the narrow hallways give off such an uncomfortable feeling that feels very liminal. The most iconic liminal scene has to be Danny riding around the hotel hallways in his big wheel. With the perspective of a child, this perfectly encapsulates that odd feeling that liminal spaces give off. This, of course, was all intentional. Seeing these empty spaces, especially ones like this, with no exits except for at the very end of the corridor, is so important for giving off that uneasy, claustrophobic feeling. The film is kind of about being alone in big empty spaces and the fear of your mind playing tricks on you. Stanley Kubrick was a master at making these types of scenes. The wide open spaces from 2001 A Space Odyssey and the attention to detail of A Clockwork Orange give off very similar feelings. A much less creepy but equally liminal film would be the 1992 film Toys. I first heard about this movie from a TikTok that was showing off movies with weird visuals and I instantly fell in love with the aesthetic. The whole movie is a dream core paradise. The film is about a lieutenant general who inherits a toy factory and is using it to basically make weapons, which the movie keeps referring to as war toys. And it's up to Robin Williams to stop him. But the movie mostly revolves around Williams' silly antics and a love subplot. It's a weird movie that's cheesy and at times a little confusing, but overall really beautiful and still enjoyable. Toys has this incredible style that's so colorful and full of intrigue. It seems to take lots of inspiration from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, but overall more mechanical and less magical. The juxtaposition of these styles makes for one of the most interesting looking movies I have ever seen. The film is full of scenes that are surreal and dreamlike, and such a fascination to look at. I looked around to see if there was any sort of behind the scenes footage of these sets, but all I could find was this 8 minute commercial for a behind the scenes documentary that doesn't exist. Maybe one day we'll be able to find this, but for now, this is all we have. This movie is fairly obscure, as it did terrible in the box office, but it 100% deserves to be on this list. Another equally synthetic and dreamlike movie is the film Vivarium. This movie screams liminal with its overly bright style and repeating neighborhood visuals. Vivarium is a film about a couple that gets trapped in a fake neighborhood and are forced to raise this random child. It's another very weird movie, but fascinating. The neighborhood they're in is completely vacant and repeats forever. They try everything, but are forced to live out their days stuck in this purgatory. While watching this, I was getting so sick of seeing the turquoise houses. I sighed in relief when the film finally went somewhere. 
The film itself is weird and honestly a little void of substance, but the monotonous visuals are what makes this a clear liminal space movie. Being stuck in a world like this is eerily similar to The Backroom's creepypasta, and feels like something that came out of YouTube in 2022. According to the behind the scenes documentary, which was graciously uploaded to YouTube, the outdoor scenes were filmed indoors with artificial lighting, which gives off that synthetic backrooms look. And on top of that, there were even some sets built for this thing. Even though most of it was CG, this film is so weird and easily something to throw on if you want some sort of Twilight Zone type intrigue. The next few movies I'm going to mention aren't entirely liminal, but have a few great liminal scenes that are so interesting to look at. In the movie Us by Jordan Peele, there is this great underground tunnel of intricate rooms that seem to span on infinitely and it has the same aesthetic as the back rooms. The lighting is yellow and the rooms are simple and mundane. It's just so creepy and gives an interesting feeling to the setting. The YouTuber Horn Z actually explains it really well in his video. I'll link it here. Another great liminal space scene that is rather iconic has to be the neighborhood from Edward Scissorhands. This dreamlike world is so exaggerated and colorful, which gives it this unnatural look. The film Edward Scissorhands is a story about a man that tries to fit into a world that he doesn't belong to, which is so visually expressed by the contrasting colors between him and this neighborhood. He's dressed in all black and sticks out like crazy compared to the Dreamcore-esque colors of this world. It has a special charm to it that's just so interesting to look at. And these houses are real places, although they're obviously not colored like this anymore, but it's still interesting to see. There's a great video by World of Micah which showcases a lot of the filming locations of this film. It's super interesting to see. Another super iconic liminal space scene from a movie has to be this scene from the ending of The Truman Show. The Truman Show is all about living in a false reality, and that alone is pretty liminal. But I want to highlight the very ending of the movie, where Truman finally reaches the edge of his reality. He is faced with a fake cloud backdrop and a staircase leading up to the unknown. The scene is surreal and so beautiful. We don't know what happens to Truman after he goes in, and we are left with just the aftermath of his existence. It almost feels like a Salvador Dali painting or a piece by Gabrielle Traversat. And of course, I can't talk about liminal space cinema without mentioning the insane style of David Lynch. His films are wildly ahead of their time. They have this weird energy that's just so raw and awkward. I feel Lynch understood the feeling of liminal spaces very well. His films often consist of surreal dreamlike scenes that the characters are all too familiar with and are completely unfazed by. Far before the term liminal spaces existed, David Lynch was making odd mundane worlds for his films, which are often wild and interpretive. Notable examples have to be the weird industrial setting that Henry has to walk through in order to get to his home in Eraserhead, this crazy dreamlike waiting room in Mulholland Drive, and the gorgeous house from Lost Highway. After watching loads of these films for this video, I have to say that I enjoyed them all a lot. Liminal Spaces first started in cinema, and it's really interesting to see the first pioneers of the idea, as well as some newer films that took it to a new level. If you have any other films that also give off this feeling, please let me know in a comment below. Thanks for watching, and make sure to check out the Etsy shop for stickers and maybe some other stuff coming soon. I want to make prints, and maybe even some enamel pins too. Thank you. Thank you.